Camillo Golgi Italian Camillo D the 7th of July 1843 to the 21st of January 1926 was an Italian biologist and pathologist known for his works on the central nervous system He studied medicine at the University of Pavia where he later spent most of his professional career between 1860 and 1868 under the tutelage of Cesare Lombroso Inspired by pathologist Giulio Bizzozero he pursued research in nervous system his discovery of a staining technique called black reaction sometimes called Golgi's method or Golgi's staining in his honor in 1873 was a major breakthrough in neuroscience. Several structures and phenomena in anatomy and physiology are named for him, including the Golgi apparatus, the Golgi tendon organ and the Golgi tendon reflex. He is recognized as the greatest neuroscientist and biologist of his time. Golgi and the Spanish biologist Santiago Ramón y Cajal were jointly given the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 1906, in recognition of their work on the structure of the nervous system. Biography <inaudible> 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 Camillo Golgi was born in July 1843 in the village of Cortino, in the province of Brescia, Lombardy, Italy. The village is now named Cortino Golgi in his honor. His father Alessandro Golgi was a physician and district medical officer, originally from Pavia. In 1860, he entered the University of Pavia to study medicine, and earned his medical degree in 1865. He did an internship at the San Mateo Hospital now IRCCS Policlinico San Mateo Foundation. During his internship he briefly worked as a civil physician in the Italian Army, and as assistant surgeon at the Novara Hospital now Azienda Ospedaliero Universitaria Maggiore della Carita di Novara. At the same time he was also involved in the medical team for investigating cholera epidemic in villages around Pavia. In 1867, he resumed his academic study under the supervision of Cesare Lombroso. Lombroso was a renowned scientist in medical psychology such as genius, madness and criminality. Inspired by Lombroso, Golgi wrote a thesis on the etiology of mental disorders, from which he obtained his MD in 1868. He became more interested in experimental medicine, and started attending the Institute of General Pathology headed by Giulio Bizzozero. Three years his junior, Bizzozero was an eloquent teacher and experimenter, who specialized in histology of the nervous system and the properties of bone marrow. The most important research publications of Golgi were directly or indirectly influenced by Bizzozero. The two became so close that they lived in the same building, and Golgi later married Bizzozero's niece, Lena Aletti. By 1872, Golgi was an established clinician and histopathologist. He, however, had no opportunity as a tenured professor in Pavia to pursue teaching and research in neurology. Financial pressure prompted him to join the Hospital of the Chronically Ill Pio Lugo Degli Incurabili in Abbiatgrasso, near Milan, as chief medical officer in 1872. To continue research, he set up a simple laboratory on his own in a refurbished hospital kitchen, and it was there that he started making his most notable discoveries. His major achievement was the development of staining technique for nerve tissue called the Black Reaction later the Golgi's method. He published his major works between 1875 and 1885 in the journal Revista Sperimentale di Freniatria e di Medicina Legal. In 1875, he joined the Faculty of Histology at the University of Pavia. In 1879, he was appointed Chair of Anatomy at the University of Siena. But the next year, he returned to the University of Pavia as full professor of histology. From 1879 he also became professor of general pathology as well as honorary chief primario ad honorarum at the San Mateo Hospital. He served as rector of the University of Pavia twice, first between 1893 and 1896, and second between 1901 and 1909. During the First World War 1914 he directed the military hospital Collegio Bormio at Pavia. He retired in 1918 and continued to research in his private laboratory till 1923. He died on 21 January 1926. <laughs> Personal life Golgi and his wife Lena Aledi had no children, and they adopted Golgi's niece Carolina. Golgi was irreligious in his later life and became an agnostic atheist. One of his former students attempted an unsuccessful deathbed conversion on him. 
Topic: Contributions. Topic: Black reaction or Golgi staining. Central nervous system was difficult to study during Golgi's time because the cells were hard to identify. The available tissue staining techniques were useless for studying nervous tissue. While working as chief medical officer at the Hospital of the Chronically Ill, he experimented with metal impregnation of nervous tissue, using mainly silver silver staining. In the early 1873, he discovered a method of staining nervous tissue that would stain a limited number of cells at random in their entirety. He first treated the tissue with potassium dichromate to harden it, and then with silver nitrate. Under microscope, the outline of the neuron became distinct from the surrounding tissue and cells. The silver chromate precipitate, as a reaction product, only selective stains some cellular components randomly, sparing other cell parts. The silver chromate particles create a stark black deposit on the soma nerve cell body as well as on the axon and all dendrites, providing an exceedingly clear and well-contrasted picture of neuron against a yellow background. This makes it easier to trace the structure of the nerve cells in the brain for the first time. Since cells are selective stained in black, he called the process la reazione nera, the black reaction, but today it is called Golgi's method or the Golgi stain. On 16 February 1873, he wrote to his friend Niccolò Manfredi, I am delighted that I have found a new reaction to demonstrate, even to the blind, the structure of the interstitial stroma of the cerebral cortex. His discovery was published in the Gazzetta Medica Italiani on 2 August 1873. <inaudible> <inaudible> nervous system In 1871, a German anatomist Joseph von Gerlach postulated that the brain is a complex protoplasmic network in the form of a continuous network called the reticulum. Using his black reaction, Golgi could trace various regions of the cerebrospinal axis, clearly distinguishing the different nervous projections, namely axon from the dendrites. He drew up a new classification of cells on the basis of the structure of their nervous prolongation. He described an extremely dense and intricate network, composed of a web of intertwined branches of axons coming from different cell layers. Diffuse nervous network. This network structure, which emerges from the axons, is essentially different from that hypothesized by Gerlach. It was the main organ of the central nervous system according to Golgi. Thus, Golgi presented the reticular theory which states that the brain is a single network of nerve fibers, and not of discrete cells. Although Golgi's earlier works between 1873 and 1885 clearly depicted the axonal connections of cerebellar cortex and olfactory bulb as independent of one another, his later works including the Nobel Lecture showed the entire granular layer of the cerebellar cortex occupied by a network of branching and anastomosing nerve processes. This was due to his strong conviction in the reticular theory. Golgi's theory was challenged by Ramon Y. Kajal, who used the same technique developed by Golgi. According to Ramon Y. Kajal's neuron theory, the nervous system is but a collection of individual cells, the neurons, which are interconnected to form a network. In addition to this, Golgi was the first to give clear descriptions of the structure of the cerebellum, hippocampus, spinal cord, olfactory lobe, as well as striatal and cortical lesions in a case of chorea. In 1878, he also discovered a receptor organ that senses changes in muscle tension, and is now known as Golgi tendon organ or Golgi receptor and Golgi Matsoni corpuscles pressure transductors. He further developed a stain specific for myelin, a specialized portion of axon using potassium dichromate and mercuric chloride. Using this he discovered the myelin annular apparatus often called the horny funnel of Golgi Resinico. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Kidney Golgi studied kidney function during 1882 to 1889. In 1882, he published his observations on the mechanism of renal hypertrophy, which he understood to be due to renal cell proliferation. In 1884, he described tubular cell mitoses in the kidney of a person suffering from tubulointerstitial nephritis, and he noted that the process was an essential part of repairing the kidney tissue. He was the first to dissect out intact nephrons, and show that the distal tubulus loop of, Henel of the nephron returns to its originating glomerulus, a finding that he published in 1889. Anatazioni intorno all'istologia dei reni dell'uomo e di altri mammifieri e sull'istogenesi dei canalicoli orinifere. 
Rendicon TRACAD. Lince 5 545 557, 1889. Malaria A French army physician Charles Louis Alphonse Leveron discovered that malaria was caused by microscopic parasite now called Plasmodium falciparum in 1880. But scientists were skeptical until Golgi intervened. It was Golgi who helped him prove that malarial parasite was a microscopic protozoan. From 1885, Golgi studied the malarial parasite and its transmission. He established two types of malaria, tertian and quartan fevers caused by Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium malariae respectively. In 1886, he discovered that malarial fever paroxysm was produced by the asexual stage in the human blood called erythocytic cycle, or Golgi cycle. In 1889–1890, Golgi and Ettore Marchiafava described the differences between benign tertian malaria and malignant tertian malaria the latter caused by P. falciparum. By 1898, along with Giovanni Battista Grassi, Amico Bignami, Giuseppe Bastianelli, Angelo Celli and Marchiafava, he confirmed that malaria was transmitted by Anopheline mosquito. <laughs> Cell organelle An organelle in eukaryotic cells now known as Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex, or sometimes simply as Golgi, was discovered by Camillo Golgi. Golgi modified his black reaction using osmium dichromate solution with which he stained the nerve cells, cells of the cerebellum of an owl. He noticed thread-like networks inside the cells and named them apparato reticulare interna internal reticular apparatus. Recognizing them to be unique cellular components, he presented his discovery before the Medical Surgical Society of Pavia in April 1898. After the same was confirmed by his assistant Emilio Verratti, he published it in the Bollettino della Societa Medico Chirurgica di Pavia. However, most scientists disputed his discovery as nothing but a staining artifact. Their microscopes were not powerful enough to identify the organelles. By the 1930s, Golgi's description was largely rejected. It was only firmly established after 50 years of its discovery, when electron microscopes were developed. Topic. Awards and legacy Golgi, together with Santiago Ramón y Cajal, received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1906 for his studies of the structure of the nervous system. In 1900 he was named senator by King Umberto I. In 1913 he became foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. He received honorary doctorate from the University of Cambridge, University of Geneva, Christiania University College, National and Kapodistrian University of Athens, and Paris-Sorbonne University. He was commemorated in stamp by European Community in 1994. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Monuments in Pavia. In Pavia several landmarks stand as Golgi's memory. A marble statue, in a yard of the old buildings of the University of Pavia, at N.65 of the central Strada Nuova. On the basement, there is the following inscription in Italian language. Camillo Golgi, Patalago Samo, della Scienza Istologica, Antisignano e Maestro, La Segreta Struttura, del Tessuto Nervoso, con Intenta Vigilia, Sorprise e Discrease, Chi Opero, Chi Vive, Gita e Luz i Venturi, MDCCCXLIII, MCMXXVI. Camillo Golgi, outstanding pathologist, of histological science, precursor and master, the secret structure, of the nervous tissue, with strenuous effort, discovered and described, here he worked, here he lives, here he guides and enlightens future scholars, 1843-1926. Golgi's home. Also in Strada Nuova, at N.77, a few hundreds meters away from the university, just in front to the historical Teatro Fraschini. It is the home in which Golgi spent the most of his family life, with his wife Lina. Golgi's tomb is in the monumental cemetery of Pavia Viale San Giovanino, along the central lane, just before the big monument to the fallen of the First World War. It is a very simple granite grave, with a bronze medallion representing the scientist's profile. Near Golgi's tomb, apart from his wife, two other important Italian medical scientists are buried, Bartolomeo Panizza and Adelchi Negri. 
Golgi's museum was created in 2012, in the ancient Palazzo Bata of the University of Pavia at N.10 of Piazza Antoniato Bata reconstructs the study of Camillo Golgi and its laboratories with furniture and original instruments. <laughs> Eponyms The organelle Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex The sensory receptor Golgi tendon organ Golgi's method or Golgi stain, a nervous tissue staining technique The enzyme Golgi alpha manosidase 2 Golgi cells of the cerebellum Golgi eye nerve cells with long axons Golgi 2 nerve cells with short or no axons Topic. See also List of pathologists Topic. References Topic. Further reading Mazzarello, Paolo 2010, Golgi, A Biography of the Founder of Modern Neuroscience, translated by Badiani, Aldo, Buchtel, Henry A., New York, Oxford University Press, ISBN 9780195337381 346 Miranov, Alexander A., Margot, Pavelka 2006. The Golgi Apparatus State of Art After 110 Years of Camillo's Discovery. Dordrecht, Springer. ISBN 3211763104. Moray, D. James, Mollenhauer, Hilton H. 2009. The Golgi Apparatus, The First 100 Years. New York, Springer. ISBN 0387743472. De Carlos, Juan A., Burrell, Jose. 2007. A Historical Reflection of the Contributions of Kajal and Golgi to the Foundations of Neuroscience. Brain Research Reviews, published August 2007, 55, 1, pp. 8-16, doi, 10.1016, j.brainerev.2007.03.010, PMID 17490748 Muscatello, Umberto 2007. Golgi's Contribution to Medicine. Brain Research Reviews published August 2007, 55, 1, pp. 3-7, doi, 10.1016, j.brainerev.2007.03.007, PMID 17462742 Kruger, Lawrence 2007. The Sensory Neuron and the Triumph of Camillo Golgi. Brain Research Reviews, published October 2007, 55, 2, pp. 406-10, doi, 10.1016, j.brainerev.2007.01.008, PMID 17408565 Fabine, P. F., Bentivoglio, M. 1898-1998, Camillo Golgi and The Golgi. 100 Years of Terminological Clones. Brain Res. Bull, published October 1998, 47 3, pp. 195-8, doi, 10.1016, S03619230980079-3, PMID 9865849, Miranov, A. A., Komisarchik, E. A. U., Miranov, A. A., Snigarevskaya, E. S., Luini, A. 1998. Current Concept of Structure and Function of the Golgi Apparatus. On the 100th Anniversary of the Discovery by Camillo Golgi. Cytologia, 46, pp. 483-96, PMID 9778732, Farquhar, M. G., Palade, G. E. The Golgi Apparatus, 100 Years of Progress and Controversy. Trends Cell Bile, published January 1998, 8 1, pp. 2-10, doi, 10.1016, S0962892497-01187-2, PMID 9695800, External links
Life and Discoveries of Camillo Golgi The Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 1906 Some Places and Memories Related to Camillo Golgi The Museum in Cortino, now called Cortino Golgi, dedicated to Golgi. Includes a gallery of images of his birthplace. The Museum Camillo Golgi in Pavia Biography at Encyclopædia Britannica Biography at Encyclopædia.com Profile at Humamedit <laughs>